So next we'll do the wind bridge oscillator, uh, which is there in the syllabus. So we have actually one problem also. So this uh, will verify whether are we getting the same answer or not using the simulation. So in the wind bridge oscillator, actually we use a non-inverting amplifier, uh, which provides a phase shift of uh, zero degree because it is the name itself. It is a non-inverting amplifier. Input is given to the non-inverting terminal, so phase shift is zero. So, and uh, for uh, we are using a vane bridge network uh, where two res two arms are actually pure resistors R3 and R4, and two bridges we are using a capacitor in one arm. Uh, capacitor is connected in series in the second arm. Capacitor is connected in parallel. So R1 C1 is the first. And R2 C2, which is in parallel, which is the second arm, R3 and R4 are pure resistors network. So here so to derive expression uh, that uh, for zero phase shift, what is the condition? Okay, because this uh, amplifier is providing zero phase shift, and this also uh, we have to uh, derive an expression at what condition uh, the phase shift is actually zero. So when both are matching, the total phase shift becomes zero degree, and uh, you're going to get oscillation. One more. Uh, in order to get sustained oscillation, the condition, the minimum gain should be equal to 3. So that is actually 1 plus C1 by C2, R2 by R1. Uh, if it is, this is also 1 and this is also 1. C1, C2 value same, R1 and R2 also same. If you use same values of R1 and C1, sorry, R1 and R2 and C1 and C2, you will get AV is equal to 3. So then you are going to get an oscillation. So here, one problem is there. So this problem will verify with R1 and R2 is equal to 1K, C1 and C2 is also same. So that gain becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. Uh, we should get actually 1.59 kilohertz. Uh, I already take the components, uh, place component, pick uh, pump, uh, take two power supplies, VCC and VDD, uh, take uh, four resistors and two capacitors. Wherever uh, you need to modify the chain, Modify the values of component, double click on that and uh, change the values. So this is a, and one ground also you have to connect. Uh, rig up the circuit as shown in the figure. So we'll verify whether we are getting the correct answer or not. Now I'm going to run this. So once you run, uh, in order to see the output, you have to double click on the CRO. Yes, now we are getting. So now we have to verify uh, whether the frequency is coming correct or not. Here, according to the design, 1.59 we should get. So your probes are there. You can take uh, this probe, which will give the difference between those two. So one peak to another peak I'm taking, one peak to another peak I'm taking, okay? From this peak to this peak, what is the gap here? Uh, 653 uh, microsecond. So if you vary this, it will also vary, difference, okay? So one peak to another peak, I'm taking approximately like this. <clears throat> so now, We'll verify whether the answer is correct or not. So I'm taking a calculator. Uh, so let us take uh, 653, 653 micro, 10 power minus six. This is the time period. And take the reciprocal of it. So it is uh, 153. 1531 so here you can see 1.59 is there so i think here i think uh, you have to take a little bit closer little bit 631 i think now it is 631 the gap is 631 let us check uh, for this uh, are we getting correct answer or not uh, 631 is the gap T1 minus T2. 
the time period of that one is 631 micro 10 power minus 6 this reciprocal yeah this is 1589 uh, theoretically we see here left side 1 over 2 pi rc uh, we got f is equal to 1.59 kilohertz here it is 1.58 so approximately it's coming same that is because of your actually we are taking two peaks now there is a size if it is a slight variation also it will give a plus or minus so we are getting correct answer so continuously you are going to get these oscillations so this is about uh, wind bridge oscillator here actually the amplifier provides uh, zero degree phase shift and uh, the feedback network which is in the form of a uh, wind bridge that is also provides zero degree phase shift so the total phase shift is zero degree and uh, in order to maintain the sustained oscillation the minimum gain should be equal to three which is a one plus uh, c1 by c2 by r2 by r1 which is uh, if you say that same values of r and c automatically you will get a minimum gain of three so that's why you are getting uh, the oscillations